Michelle here at Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. Today starts a week of solid rain. So yesterday and today I went out, did a little thrifting. Um, got a haul for you today. Hope you enjoy it. simply fell in love with it. It is not vintage, but it is vintage-like. It's cool. It has never been opened. You can see I'm dying to take it out of the box, but I won't. It's a, rem rep. It's a remote control bumper car set, and it says right here that the players eject when hit, and it has some built-in sounds. came from FAO Schwartz, and it still has the original tag on it. $39.99 right there. They sell I'd say they average about $25 to $30 new in the box that have never been opened. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'm probably going to list it. I might save it for the grandkids for Christmas, or I know I have to hide it or cameraman's going to open it up and start playing with it. Found the ceramic pottery pitcher at the Goodwill. I kind of paid up for it. I paid $4.99, kind of a lot for me, but I just fell in love with it. The bamboo design is just gorgeous on that side and just as lovely on this side. And it's a Napco Weir pitcher. Napco Weir simply stands for National Part Potteries Corporation. Excuse me. They were out of Cleveland, Ohio, and they were importers from Japan. They started uh, business in 1938. Really, really popular in the late 50s to late 60s. I think I'm gonna ask about 20, $25 for this picture. I can't believe I found another one just a few months ago. I had never even seen these before. And now at the same Goodwill, I picked up another one for $6.99, which I was willing to to spend because I'm gonna actually sell this when I have one. The one I have is not in as good a shape as this, but I just love these. Um, if you saw the back stamp, it's incised or embossed, doesn't have the blue writing you normally see on corning wear. That's called a first generation back stamp. And this back stamp dates this to 1958 to 1961. Then they moved over to the blue stamped um, logos usually see. Corning Wear Cornflower Blue Pyro Ceram 10 inch Ceramic Lidded Casserole. I think I'm going to ask about $30 for it. Pick this up at the Salvation Army. It had a lilac tag on it. They are new, the lilac tags. It was 99 cents and 25% off, so I paid a whopping 75 cents for this. I would have paid a dollar for it. This cow spoon rest is simply adorable. And it's a, it's a Japanese import, you can see right there. Has the label still on there. I think it's probably 1970s, that would be my best guess. And I'm gonna ask around $10 for it. Picked this up at the Enjoy store today. I paid $3 for it. I used to sell a lot of Tupperware online um, and I kind of stopped I saw this piece I kind of fell in love with it it was in really nice shape and it's perfect for the summer it's actually let me open it up it is a deviled egg keeper missing its deviled egg trays dates to the 1970s I think maybe the early 80s and I'm sure lots of you remember Tupperware probably a lot of you still use it and probably a lot of you like me had Tupperware parties back in the day they don't sell very well or for very much without the inserts in them you can buy the inserts though if if you're interested in uh, picking up a piece like this I've seen them online. You can just buy the inserts. I don't even think I'm going to bother to sell it. I don't think I could get more than $8 for it, but it's just going to make a wonderful tray to put veggies in or hors d'oeuvres or whatever to go to a party. 
Tupperware dates all the way back to 1948. It was developed and started by Earl Tupper, and he made his very first piece of Tupperware. It was a bell-shaped container in 1948. This is the other piece of English Pyrex I was talking about that I had, I told you in my last video. It's J-A-J, -J, that stands for James A. Jobling, and I'm not gonna go any further into it because I already said everything about the company in my last video, but it's Pyrex and it's made in England. And you can see right here, this is the original lid. It doesn't really look like it fits, but it is the original lid. The uh, pattern's called Country Autumn. It's back to the 70s, uh, I paid $3 for it gonna list it for 10 maybe $12. Found another one of the Homer Laughlin custard cups the other day. I did pay 69 cents for it, which was a lot more than I paid for, uh, I think I paid four for $1.99. But last time I said that one of them, I thought had a hairline crack in it and I have already listed them online so I'm just gonna throw this in with the the lot kind of a freebie some of you will be surprised 1933 Homer Laughlin oven serves I found this at the enjoy store it's not marked orange was half price so I paid a dollar for it I have a hard time passing by these Pretty little tidbit double-handled cake plates when I see them. This one's in really nice shape. The gold is in perfect condition. And uh, just a pretty little piece. I'm gonna list it for $10. There's been a lot of Christmas stuff half price out there, but I haven't really found anything that I liked. So this was one dollar half price and I did like this very much. It's a hand painted glass ornament. It's really really pretty. It's in wonderful shape and I don't think there's oh there is and there's a pretty design on the back also and I even saw on the bottom here it came with its own little bag if I decide to give it away as a gift. Pretty. I picked this up in the Salvation Army. Green was half price that day, so I've got both pieces for 89 cents. And I found this gorgeous cup in the, where the cups and glassware were. I fell in love with the pattern. You can see right here, it's obviously Christmas. The inside is just adorable, but there was no matching saucer. So I moved on over to the Christmas section and I found this saucer, which looks nothing like this. But when I turned it over, it had the Burtonson House limited back stamp, same back stamp is on the cup. So I took a chance, picked them up, and I'm glad I did because they are actually a set. And they were actually made in England, even though it says New York on there. Burtonson House Limited was a company here founded by Fred Cutbertson in 1922. He actually designed this himself. It's called the original Christmas tree. In 1922, Fred Cutbertson, who owned the plumber's store, it was a high-end store in New York, he designed this Christmas tree right here. He wanted to appeal to um, to American households, which actually was produced in England. And so he went with a design that resembled a 1920s Christmas tree that <clears throat> most Americans had in their house. This was it, the original Christmas tree. He sold it in his stores in the plumber stores um, with that back stamp through the 1930s. And then his son started a new store called um, Cupperson, excuse me, house, and they sold this pattern under the Burtonson house name. So I know this one dates to the 1950s. They did change the name again in 1970s, simply to Cupperson Imports. I'm gonna ask eight dollars for the cup. They're not, they're kind of hard to find. I found these at the Enjoy Thrift Store. I got two really pretty pieces of Franciscan porcelain. This is snow pine. That's the pattern, snow pine. It was produced in 1961 and only 1961. Usually I get the earthenware. I don't find, I don't know that I've ever found any Franciscan 
porcelain ware. So we'll see how this goes. They have a whole lot of other pieces there. I'm gonna list these for $25 and see how that goes. If they sell, maybe I'll go back and see if there's anything left there. And Franciscan was one of the most successful popular lines that Gladden McBean ever produced. And I also wanted to mention that they were named for the San Francisco Friars who established the Spanish missions out in California. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video and I have to apologize because somewhere in the middle of this haul, my throat went out on me. So I know I sound a little choppy here and there. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, leave me a comment. We'll see you again real soon. Bye. It's in great condition. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Limited, and this dates back to the 1950s. He, he, um, oh my gosh. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah.